Hi, I'm Jenny from Soaz Massage and Body Work here with your Soaz Quick Tip. Today we're talking about the feet and this is going to be part one of a two-part video series on the feet. Today we're going to be focusing on stretching, strengthening, and using a golf ball as a massage tool for the feet. So this is great for anyone having the beginning stages of a bunion, people dealing with plantar fasciitis, runners, cyclists who wear hard shoes a lot. The idea is that you need to stretch the muscles on your feet. You need to use the muscles on your feet to have a healthy, balanced foot system. Um, I'm not going to go into today the um, minimalist support versus more support. I believe every body and every foot needs a different kind of support. But I also do believe that everyone needs to stretch their feet more than they do. Um, the idea of just even going and walking on the beach and using the muscles in, the, in your feet there. So I'm going to show you a picture of the muscles on the feet. Adrian's going to zoom in there. And um, this is just an example of how we have seven layers on the bottom of our feet and how it's just really important and easy to forget that we have that many muscles in your feet. Now I'm going to move down into, first we're going to start with a stretch. So the idea here is that you want to spread your toes, so you might need to physically go in and spread your toes. Um, I do this so I can lean back. Um, and get into the stretch. If that's too much of a stretch for you, you can lean forward a little bit so you're not getting as much of a stretch. But I would say try to hold it for about 30 seconds if possible. The second one is taking a towel or a t-shirt and you're spreading your toes and you're grabbing the towel and you're pulling it up. Spreading your toes, grabbing the towel and pulling it up. I would suggest doing it 10 to 15 times on each foot. And then we grab the golf ball, and I like to use the golf ball first to kind of sit it underneath the arch and let the arch sort of mold around the golf ball. And then I'll use it to work the different parts of my foot. And you decide how much pressure, how much weight you're going to put on that golf ball. Be careful because it can be sensitive. I would say spend about 30 seconds rolling it up. So those are my three things for the feet today. So my suggestion for you is at the end of your day, kick off your shoes and spread your toes and try to do all of them if you can, but if you can only do one, no problem. Um, check out our part two. I'm going to be going over how to use healthy toes or yoga toes for a stretch for your feet. Let us know how this works for you. Thanks.